Oh, how this spring of love resembleth the uncertain glory of a September day. The month of Maria McGlynn's birthday. I am calling upon Mia McGlynn, one of Lorraine's finest works. I am Professor Celeste Connor, and I am on speakerphone. I love Yeats and Shakespeare, but there's something sublime about my student and English major, Mia McGlynn. I have heard it said that her love of reading and poetry began with a shared bookshelf in her childhood bedroom with her sister Krista, I presume. She enjoys Edgar Allan Poe, once upon a midnight dreary, as I ponder weak and weary. I discovered Mia reading The Nun's Kitchen at Chestnut Hill one day, you see. Most remarkably, she avoided waking up a St. Joseph's Hall nun. It is quite a sight to see a PSSJ in pajamas, you know. A stealthy feat was also the case when she returned from the depot, Harper's Meadows, and yes, Smoky Joe's, you see. Oh yes. On occasion, I would glance at the sign-out book at the front desk in Farney Hall and see Mia's name followed by Romana, Debbie Haas, and Maureen Thompson. I had the delight and exquisite pleasure of sipping my Jamesons in their presence and McNally's on the hill. Quite a fond memory, you see. I would hear Miss McGlynn's name being paged through a hollowed horse and know that this talented young student of mine would be an inspiration at some of our finest Philadelphia institutions, the Philadelphia Orchestra and Gwynedd Massey College. Along this path, following her graduation from the hill, her kind and loving heart would share her Philadelphia apartment with roommates Thomas and Krista. Also in their flat were adopted cats Yoda and Spike, one of which was a fastidious black cat, a nod to her beloved author Poe. <laughs>